What's up everybody and welcome back to the next video in the bus build series. Today we are addressing the big hole in my roof because it's supposed to rain next week. So I got to get this patched up, cover it up before the rain comes next week. It'd also be great if the, if the sealant that I use has time to dry. It's super windy today so I hope the audio is not too terrible. Um, what that means is that I'm going to have to scrub away the remaining adhesive that's left over from the duct tape that was around this hole and I'll do some grinding to take off any loose paint, loose chips, um, anything that should come off will come off when I grind it. Then I'll sand it a little bit just to rough up the paint that's left over and after that we'll apply a thin layer of, of metal primer just to make sure there's a nice clean secure layer of paint down and then we'll cut a patch out of the sealing aluminum that I took off a couple videos ago and that patch is going to be screwed down to cover up this hole. So that sounds like a lot of steps, but I'm going to get to it and hope you enjoy. We're using a rough, a low number sandpaper. This is 60 grit. That means there's big particles, so it'll really kind of dig into the get, dig into the existing paint. We're not trying to smooth it to a fine polish, we're just roughing it up so that the, the new, next layer of paint has something to grab onto, so. Now we're gonna hit it with a little wipe down with some lacquer thinner just to clean everything off, get rid of any dust, and then we're ready to paint. It is the next day. The paint on the roof has dried, so we're ready to cut and screw down the patch for the hole in the roof up here. So we're gonna do that and try to get this thing down and dried before the rain comes this weekend. 24 by 24. So let's go cut our patch. smoothly enough using my airplane snips to cut the shape that I need. Um, the edges are pretty sharp now that I just use scissors on that sheet metal. Uh, so I'm going to take my flap disc on my drill and smooth up those edges so I don't cut myself while handling it and clean up the rest of it, a little bit of adhesive and whatnot that's stuck there. And then we're ready to put it up. Now with my softer cut brush, We'll do a little bit of grinding to make sure that all the other stuff are paint and the rust is off, so we're ready to go. So I put two preliminary self-tapping screws in on each side just to hold this thing down and get the first pile of screws in place. Um, I'm going to take them out and rub some, run some window sealant, uh, silicone caulk along the edge so that when I screw it all down, it's going to have a watertight seal. And then once that's on there, I'll flip it back over, get those two ones in, and then we'll go and pop the rest of the screws in there. I picked up some neoprene sealed weatherproof washers that I've put between these self-tapping screws and the patch so that when the screw goes in and makes a hole, it's not gonna make a hole for water. So that neoprene in there is gonna be a little bit of a, of a water seal for keeping water out of the holes that the screws make. So let's uh, open up this cock gun, take out these screws, and let's get this thing closed up. Now we have no more hole in the roof. Look at this. That's so exciting. Now, I a lot of you are going to be like, what? No, a skylight. Woo! But my plan is to, out of this patch, cut a smaller hole where a ceiling vent fan slash, you know, kind of skylight will go. This hole was 24 by 24, but vent fans come mostly in sizes like 12 by 12, maybe 14 by 14. So 
I needed to bridge that gap somehow. It's supposed to rain this weekend, so I'm excited to see, actually I'm not, I'm not excited. I'm nervous to see whether or not this is weatherproof and see if the water comes through. Of course, it will become more weatherproof when I paint the whole roof with uh, silicone-based roof paint. That's gonna create a really tight water barrier. Anyway, that's it for this little video. Thanks for following along with this side project. Hit that like button below. Thank you all for watching. Again, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video. And we'll see you in the next one.